recruit a family for Faithbridge foster care, I would actually just let them meet our foster child that we have right now because when you see his face, when he smiles and does the things that he might not normally have done, um, seeing that is just, it's priceless. And being first, um, this is our first placement, and knowing um, how much Faithbridge has supported us, um, and it's not, it's continuously. It's right away, before we even, before we even got to our house, uh, we were getting calls uh, for meals, for babysitting, for um, any support that we need. So it's, it's great doing this for the first time to know that you're so supported and, um, you know, it feels good. I would recruit families by just meeting who the children are. I would love to introduce you to any of the children that I've had over the past two years and just meet the children and see who the children are. Just getting involved in um, being a babysitter or just helping out in an event to meet some of the foster children and you will fall in love with them. I think that the way we recruit is just by um, telling our story and when people meet our biological kids and our adopted child and when they see the interaction that they have with our foster kids, people want to know more and, and what that's all about. Um, as far as Faith Bridge goes, we just feel covered with prayer all the time. We feel like um, there are highs and lows. There are difficult days. There are difficult days with our kids. There are difficult days dealing with um, state and what they expect of us. There's difficult days with the reality of what these children are going through. And I know who I can call. I know that I can pick up the phone and really don't have to say anything. And that I'm gonna be covered with prayer. And that's what gets me through. And the other thing I tell you is it's neat to have such a purpose. I mean, at the end of the day, you really understand that you did something that we're commanded to in the Bible. Mm -hmm. and, and you've got that satisfaction no matter what you encountered that day, um, you know, whether it's uh, a situation with, you know, we all have problems, but whether it's a situation with your own biological children, whether it's a problem with the foster child, or whether, you know, you get the call from the birth mom or dad because they're in jail, like we've gotten those calls before, you know, asking for, for that kind of help. No matter what it is, you get to the end of that day and you go, wow, we did what we were supposed to today. Mm -hmm.